This is Lucy with Conceive Easy, and today we are going to be talking about OPKs. What is an OPK? OPK stands for Ovulation Predictor Kit, and who exactly needs one of these? Okay, so it could be multiple things. Women that just want to get to know their cycle, because after all, what an OPK does is it helps you determine when you're going to ovulate and just kind of pinpoint that time frame, which is usually about 24 to 48 hours before the actual ovulation. So knowing this type of information can help you in the trying to conceive process, and that can also help your doctor if you are having fertility issues to better assist you in that process. And natural family planning, also known as NFP. NFP can mean two different things, a way to achieve pregnancy and most commonly used as a way to avoid pregnancy naturally. What exactly is an OPK? An OPK is going to test for a surge in your luteinizing hormone, also known as LH. By having the surge though, and by knowing when you have the surge, you are able to pinpoint that window of opportunity, which is usually 24 to 48 hours before ovulation. So when you get a positive on one of these ovulation test strips, sorry, it was upside down, it's telling you, hey, you're gonna ovulate in about 24 to 48 hours. The next question is, when do you use an OPK? That can mean when within your cycle do you start using an OPK, and when within the day do you start using an OPK. Now, if you have a 28 day cycle, you typically, if it's by the book, will ovulate on cycle day 14. That's midway through your cycle. So considering that you typically get your LH surge 24 to 48 hours beforehand, you wanna start testing about three days before that, which is gonna be about cycle day 11. The first day of your period is cycle day one. So count for 11 days, and that's when you want to start testing. If you test too early, you might waste a couple of your LH test, and if you test too late, you might miss that window of opportunity. Okay, ladies, until next time, see you soon.